The Starship Trooper's story focused around a war between the humans and the arachnid species. The arachnids were seen to have different types of bugs, but during the first Starship Troopers movie, many people from within the fleet were against the idea of there actually being a brain bug that commands the rest of the creatures. Now during the attack of Klandathu, the Federation fleet was attacked when they came close to the planet. This resulted in 100,000 dead in just one hour and forced the Federation to come up with a new plan. They originally believed that the arachnids were wild species with no sense of intelligence or understanding. But with the recent incident at Klendathu, they started to think that this attack was actually a defensive strategy taken by the bugs. So a team was sent to Planet P to investigate the loss of communication from a team that was stationed at Whiskey Outpost. When the Roughnecks arrived, they found a victim with its brain sucked out. They also found General Owen hiding in a locker. He was scared out of his mind from seeing his men die in front of him. The team was later attacked by thousands of bugs that swarmed the tiny outpost. They tried to fight the swarm off as an evac ship arrived. Although some lives were lost during this mission, they learned that a brain bug was present because it controlled a human to send out a distress signal to lure the team into a trap. Now a brain bug was seen located deep within the tunnels when Carmen and Xander crashed there. It was seen to have tiny legs that could barely function. It could only travel by a pack of Arcalian sand beetles carrying it on their back. The brain bug sucked out Xander's brain by using a probe that came from its mouth. It is believed that they absorbed the memories and knowledge during this act, which could give them details on human technology and the strategies we use during the war against the bugs. While Carmen was able to cut off its probing claw, she escaped with her team that rescued her. The brain bug was then spotted by another group and was captured by Sergeant Zim, and with his fellow team, they dragged the brain bug from its tunnel. This brain bug was then transferred to Area 6 and was studied for 11 years. During this time, Sky Marshal Omar Anok had his mind influenced by its psychic abilities. This brain bug tried to escape and let out a high-pitched scream which killed humans nearby, but it was later killed by gunfire. Omar's mind was so influenced that he betrayed his team and led them to their deaths during his search for the god bug known as Bahima Kodil. It was a massive brain bug that was picked up during a scan of the planet, and it functioned just like the other brain bugs, but it was killed by the Q-bomb. Now all brain bugs seem to function as commanders of the arachnids within a colony. Since they have very little methods of defending themselves, they tend to stay hidden within deep tunnels as they send out psychic orders to the bugs. Because it has psychic powers, it's possible that it merely controls the mind of the bugs rather than them following its orders out of respect of being a brain bug, which is a higher caste from within the hive. But when a brain bug dies, this tends to cause chaos amongst the colony, as the bugs may tend to attack each other and their coordination falls apart. With no commander, they return to their natural, wild instincts. Now, other brain bugs were located throughout different stories in the Starship Troopers universe, and although humanity wanted peace in the galaxy, the arachnids wanted the same thing. But their method of peace was to wipe out the existence of the human race. So from here, no mutual agreement could be made, and the two sides would continue to fight each other. So if you're a fan of the Starship Troopers, do you want to see them make another movie? Put your answer in the comment section. And as for the brain bug, I think it was the most disgusting thing I saw in the movie, but it fit very well into the story. So if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to my channel and leave a like on it. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos, and I'll see you in the next video.